Hello everybody, welcome into another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Breath of Fire 2. This is going to be a leveling guide in the game. This is going to tell you the fastest way to level until the very end of the game. Now to do this leveling method, you need to get to about the halfway point in the game where you get Grandpa the Whale, who you can ride across the ocean in the game with. And you need to go to an island at the very northern part of the world map called Monster Island. It's a very small island and it has a house on there. And when you get there, you'll see that all the monsters are basically giant sized. In this place, the monsters here give the best EXP and money all the way until you reach the end of the game. It's not until the very end of the game when you get better EXP and money for monsters and random battles. So this place is really good for leveling and it's really good for getting money. Now, two things I really highly recommend that you have for Monster Island and leveling here is first off, you want to get the secret character of the game, Blue. As soon as you get Grandpa the Whale and you can ride him across the ocean of the world of the game, you can get Blue. Blue is really easy to get. The side quest to get her, it takes maybe like five minutes at most. It's very quick. I very highly recommend getting her because she has the death spell, which can instantly kill one of the enemies on Monster Island, making leveling a lot easier. Also, you want to get the ability Chop Chop, which you can get from the Wildcat Restaurant side quest if you do it early enough in the game. And you can teach it to any character, and it can instantly kill one of the enemies here on Monster Island. So that is two things I very highly recommend having. A third thing I would recommend is, of course, bringing a healing character with you. Someone like Bo or Rant. That way they can heal your party if your health gets low. Alright, so now that we covered all that, let's start talking about the enemies that you'll encounter on Monster Island and the best way to defeat all of them. Okay, so the first enemy we'll talk about is the Chore King. It's a giant fly, basically. It's a giant green fly. And the best way to defeat it is if you use the Chop Chop ability. It is a guaranteed instant death move that works 100% of the time on the enemy. So you use the Chop Chop ability, that enemy instantly dies, and then you immediately won the battle against that enemy. That one's a very easy enemy to defeat with that ability. Okay, now some of you might not have the Chop Chop ability, so if you miss that ability, then what you can do is if you go to the town of Gunks, you can buy an item called the Frisbee item. You can use that against the Chore King, the giant fly enemy, to instantly kill it. Okay, now that covers the first enemy on Monster Island. Now let's talk about the second enemy that you'll encounter, which is going to be called the Ace Wedge. It's a giant green swine enemy. The best way to defeat this enemy is to have Blue or Nina use the Death Spell. Have them cast the Death Spell. It works 100% of the time on this enemy and instantly kills this enemy, making the battle very fast. Alright, next enemy to talk about is one of the most dangerous you can encounter here, and that's going to be the Gong Head. It's a giant blue flying enemy, and basically this enemy, you can either try to kill it with Bow's Shot ability, which can instantly kill it, but has a very low chance of working, so it might take a few tries before it works. Or alternatively, you can try the Death Spell against it, but that also has a very low chance of working against it. The only way I really usually like to go about defeating this enemy is I like to brute force it. This enemy is a lot harder than the first two I mentioned earlier to kill. And now we arrive at the final enemy that you can encounter on Monster Island. This enemy is super rare. It is called the K-Swudge. This is the most dangerous enemy you can run into on Monster Island. The K-Swudge is basically a small gold swine enemy. You usually encounter multiple of them. They give the most EXP and money out of any enemy you can encounter here, but there is no instant death way to kill them. The only way to kill them is you pretty much gotta hit them with your best attacks and make sure to stay healed. They have instant death spells like the death spell. They can cast on you and they also do a lot of damage. Against these enemies, you need to make sure you have somebody healing every chance they get. These enemies are incredibly dangerous, but if you manage to defeat them, you will definitely get a lot of VXP and money. But either way, that's going to be my video for leveling on Monster Island and Breath of Fire 2. I hope this guide informed you and it helped you out. As always, I thank everyone for watching the video and I really greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to follow me on Twitch over at twitch.tv backslash shockstorm where I do full playthroughs of RPGs and other games and I review them here on the channel and then also make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. I really greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Everyone have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a great one everybody.